Hello children, it's Mr Johnson here and I'm going to be working with you on today's learning. But before we look at what we're doing today, we're going to look back at the problem that was set for you by Mrs Bunce at the end of the last lesson. So you were asked to draw three different images to represent three one eighths. But remember, three one eighths is the same as three eighths. You were also as to try and come up with an image that no one else would think of. And then where you were also challenged to see if you could come up with a real life problem. Now I'm sure you came up with lots of good ideas. So I'm gonna show you my three models that I came up with. So there's my first one, there's my next one, and there's my final model that I came up with. Now, what or how many equal parts are my hole split into and your hole should have been split into? That's right, there should be eight equal parts in the hole. And if we were looking for three one eighths, then how many parts should have been shaded? That's right, it was three parts. So well done on completing that challenge. So now we're gonna look at the first problem of this week's learning. So I've got a model here, and the first thing I want to know are how many equal parts are there? So let's count them together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our sentence stem, and let's say this together as well, there are eight equal parts in the whole. Now let's have a look at it again. I would now like to know how many parts are shaded. That's right, three parts are shaded. So let's say the sentence stem together for that. There are three parts shaded. So I can now say three eighths is shaded. So let's say that together. Three eighths is shaded. So here's our next problem that we're going to look at. Now this is a bit more of an unusual shape that we've put together. But how many equal parts are there? Let's look at trying to complete our sentence stem. So there are five equal parts in the whole. So let's say that together. There are five equal parts in the whole. And I'm going to shade some in. So how many parts are shaded? So there are four parts shaded. So again, let's say that together. There are four parts shaded. So we can say now that four fifths is shaded. So let's say that together. Four fifths is shaded. Now I have an activity I'd like you to have a try at. So I'd like you to complete the sentence stem about the image that you can see. So pause the video and have a try. So let's check if you are right. So there are five equal parts in the whole and there are three parts shaded. So that means three fifths is shaded. Well done. Let's look at this problem together. So this time, first of all, I want to know, well, what is the whole? Well, the whole is all of the arrows. And I've now shaded some in. So let's see if we can describe the fraction using the sentence stem that we've used before. So there are six equal parts in the whole, and there are five parts shaded. So that means that five sixths is shaded. So now I've got another activity 
for you to have a go at. So in this activity, there are three pictures, A, B and C. I want to know which picture shows four, six. So pause the video and have a try. Now let's check your answers. So let's look at A. So we are looking for the picture that shows four, six. So in A, there are five equal parts in the whole and three parts are shaded. So that is three fifths, not four six. So that's incorrect. Let's look at B. So in B, there are six equal parts in the whole and three parts are shaded. So that is three six, not four six. So that's wrong. Now let's not just assume that C is right. Let's check to make sure. So in C, there are six equal parts in the whole and four parts are shaded. So that is four six. So C is correct. Let's look at this next problem together. So Carly was playing football and accidentally broke some panes of glass in a window. I want to know what fraction of the whole window will need new window panes. Why don't you just have a quick think about what you might think the answer might be and just whisper it to someone. Right, let's go through it then. So we're looking for what fraction of the whole window will need new window panes. So let's use our sentence stem that we've used before. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equal parts in the whole. Now how many parts are smashed? That's right, four parts are smashed. So that means that four ninths is smashed. Here is another activity for you to have a try at. Now, David states that three six of the panes are smashed because three are smashed and six are not. Is he correct? So I'd like you to have a think whether he is right or wrong, but also try and explain your thinking. So if you pause the video and have a go. Now, let, let's check. Now, let, let's see what David states. He states that three six of the panes are smashed because three are smashed. I agree with him that three are smashed and I agree that six are not smashed. But does that mean that three six of the panes are smashed? Let's go back to what we already know. So we've looked at before our sentence stems. So there are nine equal parts in the whole. And three parts are smashed. So three ninths is smashed, not three six. So David was wrong. Now, hopefully you spotted that he was wrong based on what we already found out earlier. Here is your challenge. Now it is tricky, but I know that you have got the skills for this. You might need to think back to previous learning and apply the skills that you know. So I would like to know what fraction of the whole is orange? So good luck and have your answers ready for the next lesson. Goodbye.